It's been a long day. Been out in that yard all day long, getting it as hard as I can. I was out there yesterday too. I'm going to tell you what, two days of yard work, and it's already late, 5.30 or more. I ain't got no more in me. I just don't got the strength to even cook. So, I'm glad I did what I did. Oh, well, hello there, friends and family. So glad you could join us again today in Mr. Tom's neighborhood. And yeah, we're back here in the little old country kitchen. But we're not cooking up anything this afternoon. No, we're not. Why? Because for the past two days, and I just finished up and went as much as I could, I've been out trying to get the yard work caught up again before the next storm comes through. And I got to the point where I just didn't have no more in me. And I couldn't go on. In fact, I actually probably pushed it too much because I ran out of gas before I could even come in and cook me up some grub. In fact, I really didn't have it in me to even heat up some leftovers, which I might add are getting rather slim. And it's been a long time since I went out and got anything. And Lord, I haven't went grocery shopping since March the 25th. So I've been doing pretty good, I might say. For the most part, I've been cooking right here in the country kitchen. And I've been showing you some of that. But yeah, I just didn't have it in me to cook tonight. So I made a run. And I wanted to get one of my favorite meals. One that I haven't had in quite some time. In fact, I don't think I've had beef in quite some time either. I've been sticking to the chicken. Oh, the ham, pork, and stuff of that nature too. But let me show you what I went and picked up. And we're going to do a little bit of a trial because I got two of my favorites. One's from McDonald's. It used to be my number one favorite thing at McDonald's. Well, that was before Jack's. And I'll show you the Jack's, which is now my favorite one too. So what we have here side by side is we got two double cheese. This one on that artesian bun. Woo, right here. It's from Jack's. And hey, I went whole hog tonight. I got the double cheese with the large fries and the large drink. They call it a large combo for a total price of $8.23. Yeah. Now the sandwich, if I would have bought it all by itself, is $3.49. And that's going to be important when we start talking about the McDonald's. Yes, sir. But just look at this thing. Woo. Baby, you can see the beef right there. And this comes with two slices of cheese, Jack's special sauce, pickles and onions with mustard and ketchup too. Woo, yeah. That's going to be really good. Mm -mm -mm. And of course, like I say, they're crinkle cut fries. Those things are so poofy and light inside, but crunchy on the outside. I've already snuck out a few. And of course, that there quart sweet tea. But then over here, we got what used to be my number one favorite cheeseburger out there. And this ain't the McDouble. No, it's not. This is the full-blown McDonald's double cheeseburger. Yes, it is. Yep. McDouble only has one slice of cheese. You got to get a true McDonald's double cheeseburger to get two slices. And it doesn't come on an artesian bun. In fact, if we open it up, we're going to see there's no onion. There's two pickles. Looks like some ketchup and mustard too. Yep, right there it is. And that cost me, because we do have a receipt right here, 
that one double cheeseburger was three twenty nine. So the McDonald's double cheese was twenty cents cheaper than the Jacks. But we got this old scale out because you know what we're gonna do. Let's just place them on top. Yep. I would say they're about the same size. But look at how thin that meat is on the McDonald's in comparison to the meat on the Jacks. There's no comparison. But we won't be able to tell which one reigns supreme until we put it on the scale. And that's what we're going to do. Then we'll tear the scale right here. And now we're going to place on the jacks with the wrapper. I don't think the difference in wrappers is going to mean much. So let's see what we got. Woo! The jacks comes in at 6.8 ounces of cheesy special sauce goodness. Hey, it's the flavor of the South. Now, let's see how my used to be favorite that I always loved from McDonald's comes out. The McDonald's True Double Cheese. Let's see there. Yep, 5.1 ounces. So the Jacks was 6.8. McDonald's is only 5.1. So you're actually, for 20 cents more, you're getting 1.7 ounces more to eat for only 20 cents more with the Jacks. I can tell you, without tasting either one, what's going to reign supreme. Yes, I can. Now, I can't kick McDonald's. Now, they used to put the onion on it, which made it stand out. But I guess they skipped it on this one. So, yeah. 1.7 ounces more with Jack's, and I think that is all contributable to those thin burger patties that, as you can see right here, don't even come out to the edge of the back of the bun. I thought they were gonna fix that and make it to where the meat came out to meet the bun. Of course, I always figured they weren't gonna increase the meat. They were just gonna shrink the bun. Give me your thoughts on that in the comments below the video. So yeah, there you have it. And like I say, look at the thickness of those Jack's Burgers in comparison to McDonald's. You can't beat it. And it's like I say, Jack's is the flavor of the South that you savor. Ooh, they all about South. Where we talk a little slower and we're a little more polite. Well, we'd like to think so. Yep, now I'm going to eat this combo meal right now before I edit this video. And I'm going to wrap up. Yeah, this McDonald's double cheese is going to be just fine. And that'll be the basis of my lunch for tomorrow. Since, unlike today, I skipped lunch as I did yesterday. So maybe that counts for being some type of frugal too. Because in all truth, most days, I only eat one meal. Sometimes I eat two. I'll have a little lunch. But one way or another, I almost always just have lunch or breakfast and then supper too. Whew, I can't wait. That Jack's double cheese. Get me some ketchup for those crinkle cut. Woo! Creamy puppy fries. I'm gonna be in Southern Heaven too. So yeah, friend and family. 
Yep, I just didn't have it in me to even get enough energy to cook tonight. So, I made the run. Let me know what your thoughts are. Which would, would you pick? Jack's or McDonald's? You know, what's the better value? Now, since I didn't have a receipt for the Jack's, at the very end of the video, I'll show you online just what it cost for my combo meal. So you know old Mr. Tom wasn't pulling your leg. So hey, I gotta eat. And I hope you're having something too that makes your tummy filled with delight. Until we all see you here, you know us all. Me and the kitty crew. And the princess of the house, y'all take care. Stay safe out there. And may God bless you all as you bless those in your lives. Yep, and remember, we love you for what all you do to make our life better. And we hope in our little small way we make yours better too. Goodbye for now. Ooh, babe, I gotta grab some ketchup. Wrap that double cheese up and get her in the fridge for tomorrow. Ooh, yeah, those those fries. I just love them. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> those are good. Even without ketchup. Oh, <laughs> you caught me. Later, all.